Hello YouTube, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. Today we're going to look at flashing a brand new device, the flagship of 2016 by Samsung, the Galaxy S7 Edge. We're going to need at least 50% battery, do back up all your data, and let's begin. To begin with, things that you will need you will need the latest android 7.0 official firmware which can be downloaded from samfirmware.com now do remember you need to register and log into this website before you can download files so just go ahead and select the country of your choice and download the firmware now this particular tutorial is based on the exynos variant that is available in india that is the g935f and you may choose your model accordingly Now along with this, we will also need a flashing tool by Samsung which is known as Odin. So the download links for both the firmware and the flashing tool are mentioned in the description. You can go ahead and have a look at that. Now once both of these are downloaded, you just need to go ahead and extract the firmware to a location of your choice preferably desktop because that is easily accessible and you need to do the same with the flashing software as well that's Odin so just go ahead and extract it to your desktop Now once that is done, you need to go ahead and put the phone in download mode. To do that, you need to press and hold the volume down, power and the home key together. That's correct. Volume down plus power plus the home button. Press and hold all the three buttons together while the phone is off and it will go into download mode. Now please note this may or may not void your warranty depending on the country you are in. In India it's not such a big issue to you know trip the Knox flag which is there. At the same time before you try this just go ahead and ensure that you've set up a pin for your lock screen because the phone may ask you to enter the pin after you've flashed it. And one last thing to take care of is ensure that you have signed out of your Samsung account your Google account and all the other accounts. Now, as you can see on the screen, all the triggers have to be disabled. The FRP lock basically is a Google account lock that has to be off, otherwise you will have a hard time getting back into your account if you forget the password. Now that we've got that covered, let's go ahead and see what files needs to be put where so the ap file goes into the ap section the bootloader files goes into the bl section the csc file click here and the remaining files in this particular section Don't change any options here. So assuming that your phone is connected to the computer in download mode, the drivers have been installed, 
and you have Odin open with all the files in place, just go ahead and hit start. Now this process takes about three to five minutes depending on various factors, so just wait patiently. I will skip through this part. Now you will notice that once the flashing is done, automatically the phone reboots and goes to recovery and you will see a screen which looks something like this and says erasing. So let it erase and the first boot will take anywhere between 5 to 10 minutes. So please don't panic, let it sit there and let it do its thing. It will eventually boot up. Now once the first boot is complete, all you need to do is just go ahead and set up your phone. If you go to settings and if you look at about, there you go. You have the official Android version 7.0 installed from Samsung. That's correct. In case you're not getting an over-the-air update or you're having some problems with your phone after you update it to 7.0 and even after doing a factory reset, it's not getting fixed. You can go ahead and choose to flash manually following this guide and it should fix most of your problem. I really hope this video helped you. So if you liked the video, like, share and subscribe and stay tuned for some amazing tutorials about the Galaxy S7 Edge in the coming days. Goodbye.